to, and there it is. The I just, just, just popped up on my desk right there. And, and I, let me go ahead and open it up. And here's my folders. Documents, pictures, movies, public, and sites. Right? And um, I can go into pictures if I want. And there's nothing there. I happen to have some pictures, some holiday pictures. Let me just go ahead and drag them in. And I just literally drag them in and drop them. And it's going to copy them in there. It's actually copying them over the internet right now to our internet servers. And it's just like copying files from any folder in a Mac to another folder in a Mac. It's very, very simple. And there they are, right there. And so those are now stored securely on Apple's internet servers. Now, I can do something else pretty cool with iDisk. Um, I can actually go look at somebody else's stuff in their public folder only. I can't see their private stuff, but I can see what they put in their public folder. So I'm going to go to Phil's public folder. And uh, Phil is Phil S. So I just type in Phil S, because that's his login name. He's told me that. And I say, open public folder. And what that's going to do now is put Phil's public folder iDisk right on my desktop. And I can go inside there. And here's, now Phil's a product geek. He loves products. So he's got some product photographs in here of all of our products. And I can just click on them and look at them. Right? And again, these are loading right off Apple's internet server. I can even look at a QuickTime streaming movie that he has put in his public folder. Let me click on this. And it comes up, and I can say, OK, show me this. Aerodynamic design. So Phil has dragged this movie into his public folder, and I'm looking at it from anywhere else by mounting his public folder on my desktop. Pretty cool, huh? Standard built-in DVD. And of course, Now, let me do something else here. Um, let me go to iCards, if it'll let me in. And uh, let me go to Create Your Own. No, it's not going to let me in. OK. So anyway, uh, I could actually go to iCards and take some of those uh, photos that I had and make my own card with it. It's very, very cool. So now I'm going to go to Homepage, our fourth iTool. And here's Homepage. It's three steps to make your own website. So we're just going to make a website now, if that's OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, here's the things I can put in my website. Photo albums, iMovie theaters, invites, announcements, resumes. So I'm going to say, I want to make a photo album. And I can automatically make a photo album by pushing one button. It's going to go to my iDisk pictures folder, grab all the pictures in there, and make a website page automatically for me. So let's have it do that. There it is. And this is my template here. And those are all the photos I had dragged into my iDisk. Right? And I can say, well, let's go ahead and uh, remove this one. And um, let's say I want to make a new title here. So I will uh, say, uh, oops, what's going on here? Um, let's say uh, our, oh, how about Rocky Mountain Vacation? And we'll apply that. And um, a subtitle here, let's say, uh, boy, did we have fun. And I'll just get rid of the rest of the stuff here. Boom. And apply that. And um, let's say, I want to call this page Photo Album. And all I have to do now, now that I've taken out a picture and changed a few things, is say Publish This. And this is now published on Apple's web server as your personal web page. It gives you the URL, and I can go see it. And this is it right here. There it is. And I can click on one of these, see the photos, click on any one of these, get a blow up of the photo. Anybody can do this now from any browser in the world. This is all published on the website, except for that one. <laughs> OK, so you get the general idea. Pretty cool, huh? All righty. So now I can go back to home. I've done that. And what I want to do now is add another page to my website. So I want to add an iMovie theater. Now I actually have, I'll go back, uh, I'll go, I actually have a, um, a movie 
in my iDisc, right, that I put in my iDisc. And so when I click iMovie Theater, I think I've got two of them in there, um, I say I want to edit this, and it'll show me the movies I've got, right? So I've got Cena's movie in there, and I say apply. And so now I've got Cena's movie here, and I'm going to say uh, edit the title, and I'll say uh, Cena's movie, let's say. Or I'll say our kids, right? Our kids, apply that. And um, I'm not going to bother editing this other thing, and so now I can just say publish this. And I can go back to my page now, and I've got my photo album here, which is what I had before, but now I've got my movie theater too, and this is my QuickTime movie theater, and I can stream streaming QuickTime. Anybody on the web can come see this. Isn't this cool? And you can go back and edit this as much as you want, any time. So we think this is going to be a really, really big deal. And um, we're really thrilled about it. So that's Homepage Builder, iDisc, KidSafe, and Mac.com. All all of these iTools are premiering today. You can go use them as soon as you get out of here. You can access them from any ISP, although we're going to recommend the best one in a minute. And they are free. They are all free. And iTools requires OS 9 because it's the only way it's possible. So you have to be running OS 9 for iTools, but I